So Blatt Yes. on Sunday you will face uh, Varberg boys uh, in an away game. Uh, what's your feeling about the game in general? Yeah, you know, we're looking forward to it. Of course, you know, we had uh, the international break, so we had some time off. Um, but now, yeah, everyone is, you know, uh, refreshed and ready to go. So looking forward to the game and hopefully getting a good performance. Uh, up until the game, we were, we were expecting the biggest uh, away stand BK Häckens ever had in uh, the Swedish Allsvenskan. Uh, what's your thought about that? Yeah, that's amazing. You know, obviously, we know that it's not too far away, but um, the support is amazing and that really gives us the extra extra lift and extra 10%, you know. Um, so it, it's, it's such a good help and it's something that, you know, is really going to push the team and help us. And it's amazing that so many people have, you know, spent their time and going to spend their day with us and hopefully we can give them something to, to cheer about. So lately, for the last couple of games at home, we've seen a, an attendance boost, uh, but now you will actually have a, a greater attendance from uh, Big Hacking supporters in an away game. What does that mean to have to have that with you when you play in someone else's turf? Yeah, it's amazing because, you know, obviously you always have, you would say, the home advantage when you play at home because you play in front of your own supporters and your own fans and, you know, it's, it's, it's something that's a lot more deeper when you, especially when you win or take points and you have your your fans with you in the, the ground also, um, especially away from home. So, yeah, that's something that's going to give us an extra boost, like I said, and something that's going to push the team on. And I can only be thankful and grateful for the people that have, you know, come to support us and cheer us on. So, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, have you noticed in any way the 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 interest uh, that has been around Beko Hecken or and how that's affected you in the pitch when you play? Yeah, I think um, it's something that's kind of credit to everyone here at the club. I think, you know, as you see, we're making steps and we're just focusing on what we can do, really. And um, I think everyone has, has seen the progress that we are making as a team and as a club. And like I say, these things happen in football, you know, um, people will be interested when you're doing well. Not so many people are interested when you're not. You know, this is kind of how life works. But I think ultimately um, it's a testament to what we've been doing every day. And we just have to just keep going now. You know, I think we know what we can achieve and what we can do and we just got to keep focusing, keep taking every game by game and just keep working hard and obviously you see interviewers and stuff like this around the ground but this is what we're here for and this is what we, we do so it's just time to you know really um, focus, kick on and just keep improving and that's what we can really do you know. I think all we can do is just keep improving every day and hopefully that's what we can do. And now you play against uh, Varberg, uh, but you have four players that are suspended for the game and as well as Tobias Anna that has been uh, long-term injured. Um, how does that affect the team and, uh, and what, uh, what uh, have you talked about in uh, taking in for this game with so many uh, players yeah. gone? you know, it's sad news obviously, everyone was devastated for Tobias because, you know, um, it's not something that anyone wants to go through in football and, um, you know, we've had many injuries um, this season and you know this is kind of football how it works and we can only it only brings people stronger you know it, it brings Tobias stronger when he comes back from injury other players that have been injured um, it brings them back stronger and as a group now we just have to just stay tight keep working hard on ourselves and keep trying to improve and that's all we can do and whoever's selected to play on the matches um, whether it's from the start or coming off the bench you know, you're just going to try your best for the team and for the group because ultimately the team is the biggest thing that everyone is fighting for and that's the biggest factor. So as long as what you're doing on a day to day is helping you towards the team, then that's the main thing. So, yeah, of course, you know, these things happen in football, um, but we just got to keep our head down and keep working hard and hopefully everything else will fall into place. Yeah, so there will be five players that have played uh, quite regularly uh, the last games gone this game. Uh, how do you think the how important is the squad depth in uh, situations like this? Yeah, this is massive. Um, every team that is, you know, trying to get success, it's not just the 11 players that are playing, it's the whole squad and everyone trains amazingly every week. Everyone works really hard in the gym and, you know, f that when you do get your opportunity, you're ready and that's all you can do really. I think um, whether you're starting, like I said, or on the bench or whatever it is, you have to make sure you're giving everything for yourself because ultimately you're doing it for yourself to make sure that when you do get on the pitch, you can give your 100%. So, um, yeah, you know, this is an opportunity for players to come in now and show <coughs> really what they've, they've been working on and make sure that, you know, they can help the team. And like I said, that's ultimately the biggest thing. So I think now it's time for, you know, the whole group, everyone, individuals. Like I said, it's not just 11 players that win a 
win a league or win a match. It's the whole group, you know. So um, yeah, that's what it's going to be done to now, and that's what I think everyone's looking forward to now. They're going to get their chance and you know keep uh, continuing the success that the teams had this season. Perfect. Thank you so much, uh, Bear Target, and good luck on Sunday. Thank you so much.